a particle p is moving in a plane. At time t seconds, its velocity is given by. When t is equal to zero, the position vector of p with respect to a fixed origin is 2i minus 3j. Find the position vector of p at time t seconds. We have got given the velocity, which is represented by meter per second, the position vector of p with respect to a fixed origin o is actually talking about the vector op. And since the units are given in meters, well, that means we are going to have to find out the displacement. Notice that going from meter per second to a meter, what is happening here is we are adding 1 to the power. So this could be a clue that we have to integrate. So let's do that. So I'm going to use R for displacement. It's a common letter to use. And that is the integral of V with respect to T. And we could integrate it in either the format that is given or I'm going to simplify it, integrate as a column vector. The result will be 3t squared divided by the new power and then half t to the power 3 divided by the new power plus c plus c however this these uh, c's could be different numbers so I'm going to label it as c1 and c2 let's simplify this we are going to follow our clue t is equal to 0 the displacement or the position vector of p with respect to a fixed origin o that is the op vector op is 2i minus 3j so let's substitute the t equal to 0 so we can work out the unknown constant c1 and c2 and from here we can see that c1 is equal to 2 and c2 is equal to 3. However, the notation is given as i and j, so the vector c is equal to 2i plus 3j. And finally, find the position vector of p at time t seconds. That means we need a general form for the position vector of P. So all we have to do is replace the C1 and C2 and then we've got our answer. Since the question is given in terms of i and j. We are going to write them as such as well. So the position vector of p with respect to fixed origin o is going to be in the x direction we have 3 over 2 t squared plus 2 and the x direction is labeled with i, it's represented by the component i plus 1 over 6 t cubed plus 3 j. We can also write this as vector op. 
a particle p is moving in a plane so that at time t seconds its acceleration is 4i minus 2j meter per second squared. When t is equal to frame, the velocity is the velocity of p is 6i meter per second. So at t is equal to frame, the velocity is that and the position vector of p is 20i plus 3j meters. So here we've got at time 3 seconds two things given. We've got the velocity at that point and we've got the displacement at that point which uh, we call it the position vector in this example. Find the angle between the direction of motion of P and I when T is equal to 2. So the direction of motion, so we're going to need an angle between the direction of motion. So for this question we're going to have to work out the velocity and then see the direction of the movement that is forming with the horizontal. So the acceleration is 4i minus 2t j meter per second squared in order for us to work out the velocity we need to integrate this with respect to time we're going to integrate separately the i and j component and then we will have 4ti minus 2t squared over 2j and that simplifies to minus t squared j plus a constant and this constant will have an i and j component since we're talking about vectors in order for us to find out this constant we're going to use what is given in the question so it says that when t is equal to 3 the velocity is 6i meter per second we're going to use this at t is equal to 3 v equal to 6i we're going to substitute the values replace a t with a 3 and that is equal to 6i add 9j to both sides and subtract 12i from both sides therefore the c is equal to minus 6i plus 9j and we can plug this into our integration result v is equal 40i minus t squared j plus minus 6i plus 9j we can tidy this up to get all the i's and j's grouped together and that will be 40 minus 6 i plus minus t squared plus 9 j so this is our formula for the velocity and now we can find out the angle between the direction of motion of p and i that is the horizontal axis 
and when t is equal to 2. So to do that, we replace t with a 2 and then the velocity will be 4 times 2, 8, minus 6, plus minus 2 squared plus 9j so we have 2i minus 4 plus 9 is equal to plus 5j that means we are going 2 steps to the right and 5 steps up so I'm going to draw a triangle with 2 on the horizontal and 5 upwards the direction of the vector P is given by this and we need to work out what the angle is between the horizontal and the vector P the movement of um, vector P and we can calculate that by using some basic trigonometry using 10 inverse of 10 opposite over adjacent and that is equal to 68.2 degrees to one decimal places part B is asking us to find the distance of P from O when T is equal to O so we're gonna have to work with displacement I'm going to use the letter R for representing the displacement R is equal to what when T is equal to 0 in order for us to work this out, first we're going to have to find out what the r is. We're going to differentiate the velocity to do that. To work out an expression for r, we're going to integrate the velocity, with respect to t. So our velocity was this integrating 40 minus 6 that will be 40 squared divided by 2 which simplifies to 2t squared and minus 6 integrates to minus 6t plus minus t squared will integrate to minus t cubed divided by 3 9 integrates to 9t plus a constant. Since we have already used the letter C for the constant, I'm going to use a different letter, a constant D. To work this out, we can go back to the first two lines of our question, the ones highlighted in pink, and we can see that at time 3 seconds, we have at the position vector of P 20i plus 3j. We're going to use this to work this out. So at t equals to 3, we have r equals to 20i plus 3j. This will help us to work out the constant. We can substitute the values. 20i plus 3j is equal to 2 times 3 squared that's 18, minus 6 times 3, 18i, plus minus 3 cubed divided by 3 is minus 9, plus 9 times 3 is 27, plus the constant d that we are trying to work out. We can simplify this, 20i plus 3j is equal to 0i plus 18j plus d. We subtract 18j from both sides, 
and we will have the constant d is equal to 20i minus 15j. We can now plug it into the integration result. Therefore, we have the formula for the displacement. r equals 2t squared minus 6ti plus minus t cubed over 3 plus 9tj plus 20i minus 15j. We are interested in the distance of p from o when t is equal to 0. At t is equal to 0, we have all these t's will become 0. So therefore, r is going to be equal to 20i minus 15j. This represents the vector op. Since it's asking the distance, not the displacement and not the position vector, so we have to work at the magnitude of this. We can write this as op without a vector sign, or we could write op with a vector sign with the two modular signs around it. And we can use the distance formula 20 squared plus minus 15 squared and that is equal to 25 meters. This distance formula is basically just if we start at a point O, we go down 15, we go across 20 and then we have formed a right angle triangle with the y direction x direction and we are interested in this distance here using the Pythagoras theorem so this is 25 meters 20 meters and 15 meters